glory to God. Jesus came preaching the gospel of the kingdom and he went about doing the same thing. Went to every city, country, towns, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, you know, announcing that the God was reigning amongst men and that the old system was over, you know, that he came to fulfill the will of God, amen, to fulfill the law that no man couldn't do, he came to do that, amen, going to the cross, amen. Amen. Hey. The what Jesus preached the kingdom of God, teaching men how to live in that new realm, amen, teaching to the men and women the good, the will be saved by his sacrifice, how to live in the kingdom. Amen. Amen. And he called other men to go and preach the same thing, the kingdom of God. Amen. We're going to go to the scripture. Because always we have to go to the scripture, the Amen. word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go to, let's go to Matthew chapter 9. It's important to we love the word of God. That we delight in his word. Amen. Matthew chapter 9. Say amen with you there. You know, while Jesus was preaching the gospel of the kingdom, he was doing signs and wonders, performing signs and wonders, healing the sea, cleansing the leper, raising the dead. Amen. Amen. Let's start in verse 25, Matthew 9, verse 25. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sinners and every disease among the people. Amen? Amen. Jesus was preaching and performing miracles. Amen? And everywhere, even went to the synagogue and preached the gospel. The gospel of the kingdom. Amen? Hallelujah. Verse 26. But when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion for them because they were weary and scattered like sheep, having no shepherd. Yeah, because the people were supposed to shepherd the people. They wouldn't do it. Sound like today. Amen. Verse 27, then he said to his disciples, the harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Verse 28, therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus was doing it, and then if you remember he sent his disciple, he picked some men and he sent them to do the same, to preach what? The gospel of the kingdom. And then he told them to heal the sick, to clean the left, to raise the dead. The same thing he was doing, and then he told his disciple. Okay? Yeah. Uh, the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom they didn't start with Jesus. You see, the disciple continued doing it. And then the disciples prepare all the people to do it. Amen. In our time, we have to continue doing, preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Haven't changed, right? The mm -hmm. gospel of the kingdom. What is the gospel of the kingdom? The God saved people through Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
all men had to come to Jesus to be saved. Amen? Amen. We have to do it. As we know, today, Jesus sent his disciples to do the same thing he was doing, preaching the gospel and doing the work. Hallelujah. Let's go to Matthew 4. We're looking at eh? what? And we can see, we leave all this chapter, we can see the, what is the kingdom of the gospel, okay? okay. For us, the kingdom, the gospel of the kingdom to talk about Jesus and do his work. To heal people too. Amen. That's part of the kingdom. That's one thing. Preaching and healing. And prepare all to do the same. That's what I call to make disciples. Amen. There are a few that want to be disciples. Because the disciple follow the master or the teacher and his teaching. Amen. Amen? That's it. That's true disciple. If we could have said disciple of Jesus, we have to follow him, follow his teaching, and, and do his thing, and do his work. Amen. Matthew 4. In this chapter, he calls some men to be his disciples, to follow him, you know. That's when he called Peter and Andrew, his brother, and told them to follow him, to make them features of men. They were featured men. He said, told them, I will make you features of men. Man. I was meditating on this. And we read the Bible, right? We read about this man that Jesus called, and we think that was easy for them. Because when Jesus told them, follow me, they lay everything and follow Jesus. And we think, oh, that's over. It was easy for them. You know, remember, Peter is to work with his father, and all the people work with him. Do you think that his father was happy there? that Peter left everything to follow Jesus. Or, or Peter's wife, because what? Peter's wife. The other people that used to work with him, his partner, because they are partners. They were happy. Oh, Peter, go, go, follow Jesus. <laughs> no, always going to be resistant. Friend, the city started you because you doubt, you don't believe, you fear. Then from the people around you, closest, but the closest person to you, your family, your relative, then the friend start talking about you. They will support you. And when they come to support you, that's there, that's many. A struggle you have been suffering because everybody alienated you. Jesus had the same thing. His family, you know, his brothers, they were against him. They don't believe in Jesus. <laughs> the Bible said they didn't believe in Jesus. They believe later. What I'm saying this because men and women, they got caught, they think that all it is going to be just easy. Is it selling away? It's not. Okay. It's going to be opposition. It's going to be a struggle. But you have to do what God called you to do, regardless. You know, when God called you, 
and about the, the, the asking everybody for permission. Come on. Because everyone is going to have their own opinions. They're going to tell you how, what, how to do it, when to do it, if they are agree. Okay? I remember the Lord called me. That wasn't easy. And it's still not easy. The first thing we have if, is opposition. Okay? Who oppose you? The closest to you. The closest to you. But you have to believe that you hear from God. That's right. Because you cannot convince no one telling, hey, God called me. Yeah. He told me to do this. Nobody can believe you. They might be little later to see you walk. What happens, you know, later, after many years, people come to me and say, I believe you now. And before, and they confess that they talk about me, they no, no good things, bad things they say about me. It doesn't matter, they said about Jesus. Come on. Imagine Peter, imagine John, James. The family, the relative against them. They don't say the Bible, but they're happy. Look at when Jesus' family were looking for Jesus, they were looking to him to take her home. <laughs> they're like, stop doing what you're doing. Sometimes people do it with good heart. Hey, they're going to kill you, you continue to say to sting. But some, if they are you're crazy, you lose your mind. You don't want to worry, you're lazy. He got called you to a full time ministry. God not providing for you. God not gonna provide for you. All those things. Yeah. That's why many are called, but few are chosen. Yeah. You can stop. Many are called, but they say, nope. <laughs> I'm, people have told me, they know, they know, they know, they know, they got called them. But they don't want anybody. They don't want to do it. They know that they got been called, but they do it for the wrong reason. easy for those guys, for James, John, for the apostles. Because not only the persecution they after but with the family, with the relative, with the friends. Because sometimes it's easy to take the persecution from aside. They have your position from the people closest to you. That's the tough part. That's the tough part. Because you don't understand. You don't understand why they oppose you if they are closest to you. You know. Other people are supposed to be in your side. That's why betrayal a friend is hurt more than, than somebody has betrayed you. Because you don't expect that for your friend or for your family members to betray you, to turn against you. But the Bible talk about that. Where you, you close the friends. You say, well, betrayed by a friend, close the friend. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew 4, verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in the synagogues, 
preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kinds of sickness in all kinds of the seeds of the seeds among the people. Amen. Amen. Uh, the same in the same Matthew nine right? when preach heal deliver. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Verse 24, then his fame went through all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torment, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics, and paralytics, and paralytics, and he of them. You see, all of them. Nothing but impossible for Jesus. Whatever they have, bring it to me. We have to believe Amen. that God can do those things through us Amen. because He calls us to preach the gospel of the kingdom, do the same thing. Amen. Why are we not doing it? Not because we're not holy yet, but because I believe. Because He already gave the authority, yeah. He already anointed us, He already sent us. Amen. The brothers are believe. We say, oh, that was Jesus. Oh, that was the apostle. No. Yeah, Jesus did it. The apostle did it. We have been sent already to. Verse 25. Great multitude followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis. Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. Well, he went everywhere preaching the gospel of the kingdom. We know what's the gospel of the kingdom and what is what's happened when the gospel of the kingdom is preached. Amen. Many like the multitude things. The multitude follow them. But they are doing it, the word of the kingdom. But they want the multitude to follow them. You see, always one thing happened when Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom. People were healed. Amen. People were healed. Amen. People were healed. We have to ask what not happened all the time when we preach the gospel of the kingdom. Because we have been seeing those things. It's supposed to happen all the time because all it can happen with Jesus. Even when he went to his town, when he grew up, few people were healed. But the rest weren't healed because they did not believe. But someone was healed there. Remember, they didn't believe in Jesus. He's the son of Mary and Joseph, we know his brothers and sisters. Hmm. That was it. That's what they speak now of people. When, when you say God called me, will you open down? Because they have in their mind something. How you have to look. Or how you have to speak. They got called you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they stumbled. And that's what I believe kind of around you. And even that want to do something to you, God don't do it because they don't believe. Not because you, because you believe what God called you to do. But sometimes by His grace, you got to do something. Your people, deliver people. Because the word of God is powerful. Amen. And when the kingdom is preached, the gospel of the kingdom, the doctrine of Christ, good things happen. Amen. Good things happen. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Jesus don't preach everything else. He preached the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. Why preach the gospel of the kingdom? Because his father said he only preached what the father told him to preach. Yes. Remember that. Matthew 24. What a statement that the Jesus declared here in, in, in Matthew 24, that we have to take it to heart. And this statement is there. In this gospel, what gospel? Matthew 24, 14. Are you there? Say amen. Amen. I'm not going to let you be high. Matthew 24, 14. In this gospel of the kingdom, amen? Gospel of the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Amen. In this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a winner to all the nations. And then the end will come. Amen? Amen. Uh, this gospel, what gospel? The gospel of the Jesus preach, the gospel of the, the apostle preach, amen? The gospel of the kingdom, that gospel has to be continued preaching until the end. <laughs> amen? There don't need to be no changing. You know, man, we hear men talking about new revelation, you know, they're lying. They're liars. Confusing people, confusing the believers. They're just words, but they have no substance. In this gospel, in this gospel of the kingdom, no other gospel, will be preached in all the world as witness to all the nations and then the end will come. The gospel has to be continued preaching. The gospel Amen. of the kingdom. Jesus came preaching the gospel, went about preaching the gospel of the kingdom. He told the disciples to preach the same gospel. And those who believe and, and those disciples had to continue preaching the same gospel. Yeah. No other gospel, like Paul said, no other gospel. Amen. No other doctrine, only the doctrine of Christ. You see? No other gospel. Paul says, no other gospel had to be preached. Even Paul says, if someone can wear no other gospel, the Lord has it. He said, even, even if one from us they come out with and go with two letters of preaching, and only gospel, the Lord of Christ do not receive. Yeah. Don't listen. We've been listening to many things. Opinions of men. Doctrines of demons. Doctrines of men. Men, children, charismatic men and women saying things because sound good that people think this is the truth. Nah. The gospel of the king. 
we must continue doing the work, the work of preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. We must. We must. Don't fear persecution. Don't fear resistance. Don't fear the attack of the enemy. Amen. Jesus was persecuted. The disciples were persecuted. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's what the Revelation said there. Yeah. The coward, the fearful ones, do not inherit the kingdom. <laughs> to go with Jesus, you have to become strong in Him. Be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Because we don't fight against flesh and blood. Always when someone they doing the work of Jesus or the work of God's attack behind is a demon. Amen. The devil behind us attack. Paul said the the you know a demon was assigned to to a to attack Paul from every side. See? The devil was behind Jesus all the time. You can remember in John 14, Jesus said to his disciples, let's go from here, let's go. Because the prince of this world is coming and nothing in me. Who Jesus was talking about, from, for whom? Of the devil. Amen. It wasn't not only when, when it was tempted by the devil the 40 days, 49. No, he continued looking. That's what the same devil to tempt you. That was the same devil to make the people to revolt against Jesus. Okay. The devil himself was after Jesus. <laughs> Maybe to us he's saying, a demon. <laughs> when you have strong call, maybe the same devil come to you to try to stop you any way how. But don't be afraid. You are the only one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus continued. Remember, he went to every place, preaching God for the kingdom, healing, delivering, cast out, out demons. Remember, he said he had to go to different towns and city preaching the gospel because for those things, he was sent. Amen. He was doing it. He didn't, he didn't take vacation. He was doing it. Come on. He was a thing. Go oh, out to take vacation. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You take vacation. You're not bad, but it was just consumed. He was consumed with the kingdom. Amen. You call you out to be consumed with the kingdom. Amen. Yes. God don't get mad. You get a vacation. You go to vacation. But but what is consuming you? Where your passion? Come on. You see, that, that's all about. You know, you could say, oh, Jesus, because Jesus Jesus, no, but the disciples, they were passionate about the things of the kingdom. They left everything. The Bible said they, they, they came, when Jesus said, follow me, they left everything and follow him. They 
like we're preaching, healing. <laughs> Mark chapter 1. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 25. Now in the morning, I risen a long while before daylight, he went out in the paddock to a solitary place, and there if he prayed. Remember, Jesus prayed. <laughs> okay? Every day, all the time. Verse 26. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. Verse 37, when they found him, they said to him, everyone is looking for you. They always were looking for Jesus. Remember we said to all the people, you follow with me, you're looking for, you're searching for me because I fed you with the bread and the fish. <laughs> and Jesus basically was telling them, you're not silly about the thing of the kingdom, my teachings. You're looking for to me to feed you with natural things. Sometimes people come to church just to, because they want something, material things. Yes, they want to feel good, but they don't want to learn how to operate, how to function in the kingdom, how to do the will of God, to be prepared to continue doing what God called us to do, to preach the gospel of the kingdom. Even you having, you, you're not a preacher, but you, son and daughter of God, you're a believer. Amen. So you have to be prepared. Because people, people all around you. Amen? Amen. Verse again, and Simon and those who were with him searched for him. Verse 37, when they found him, they said to him, everyone is looking for you. <laughs> everyone. Verse 38, but he said to them, let us go into the next towns. What are you going to do the next town? You see, let's go into the next town that I may preach they are also yeah. because for this purpose I have come forth. Amen. He don't lose sight of his mission. He never. He has a thing to do, but he never lose sight. We never have to lose sight from the mission and the purpose, the world we hear. Amen. Even you are a job. Don't lose sight of the purpose. Amen. Why are you here? Come on. You are born for such a time as this. Nobody else. You. Okay? okay? Don't lose sight of the call. Don't lose sight from the purpose and the mission that God assigned you. Amen. Okay. Yeah, you go to work, you go to school, whatever you do. But don't lose sight of the purpose as believers, okay? Don't lose sight. Don't lose sight. Amen. Don't lose sight. So what? It's one other thing around Jesus, but Jesus never lost focus. Amen. Said, Let us go into the next towns that I may preach. They are also. Because for this purpose, I have come forth. What purpose? To preach the gospel of the kingdom, right? He said it. For what the purpose? To preach. <laughs> the gospel of the kingdom, amen? Amen. Verse 29. He was preaching in the synagogues throughout all Galilee and casting out demons. And you continue reading and get healing, healing people everywhere. 
But he wasn't doing it for attention, right? To himself. Because remember when he healed, we, he, when he performed miracles, don't say nobody anything he used to tell. Not like now, you know. The people calling attention to themselves. The ministry, the, the believers, they all do anything for show, calling attention to themselves. Always seeking for something personal, not for the sake of the kingdom. Come on. The disciple of Jesus, they followed Jesus and then left everything. You might say, the, the Lord hasn't called me to, to let everything. Don't let anything. Eh? But don't forget, you are a believer. And your first passion is to serve the Lord. Amen. Even you, you have to go to work. Whatever it is. Because you are a believer. Eh? Let's go to Mark 16. We call, we never call it this, the, the Great Commission. This one, this one with Jesus already lies up. Man, he just he already passed. He's there on the cross, now he lies up, and he appeared to his disciple. Okay? Remember, this time we have risen already. He appeared to the disciples, to the disciples. Amen? Mark 16, verse 14. Later he appeared to the eleven at the, at the table and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. Remember, all the people saw him. And they and they share with the disciple that the disciple did not believe at the time. They just appeared to them. Okay? Just appeared to them for a purpose. Yeah. Not to entertain them. Like people, so I see Jesus and they, they speak like it. It was to be like uh, just I came to entertain them. Everything had a purpose. They, they talk about, some believe they talk about visions and encounters with Jesus. Like, like yes, just akin to, to entertain them. You know, hard to believe when people talk like that. It's not kind to entertain nobody. That's what they do entertainment in the church. Those disciples of Jesus did not believe the report of the others that saw Jesus after he had risen. Remember, Jesus appeared to many people after he had risen, not the 500 people. <laughs> okay? Very first thing is, and he said to them, Go into all the world. Remember, he said before they preached the gospel to all the world. And he came to reassure them that that's the mission. Continue preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. When we start preaching the gospel of the kingdom, when he come. But now, we have to continue preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. And I stop it now. And I saying like many are saying, no, it's about us now to have fun. Or the share of full or entertainment. Fake preachers. Fake church. Fake disciples. Fake apostles. Fake prophets. Fake pastors. And 
and he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. What gospel? The gospel of the kingdom. Amen. To every creature. Go to the world. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. Amen? Amen. But, but he who does not believe will be condemned. No, it's not you condemning them. It's not you. When you preach in the gospel, you're not condemning no one. Come on. Like some say, you're condemning me. No, I'm not. If you not believe, you not believe, you will condemn me. I'm not doing it. If you a believer, if you get, if you say this word, how about you condemning me when you really hear the truth? You have to check it. You are safe or not? Come on. A question, you confession that you said that you are safe. Because no believer is supposed to get angry when they hear the truth of the word of God or when they hear preaching the gospel of the King. Amen. Amen. Verse 17. And this sign will follow those who believe. You see, these signs, those who believe the disciple of Jesus preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. And this sign will follow those who believe. See, you preach the gospel of the kingdom and somebody believe what that person is supposed to do. Call unto Jesus and be saved, right? Because you preach the gospel of the kingdom. Okay. If the gospel of the kingdom is not preached, people are not going to get saved. And this sign will follow those who believe in my name that will cast out demons. Every believer. That means every believer. Amen? Amen. Cuffs out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Amen. Verse 18. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will it will eat will by no means hurt them. Amen. It will by no means hurt them. Hallelujah. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Amen? Jesus came preaching the gospel of the kingdom, went about preaching the gospel of the kingdom, we healed him, the sick, he cleaned the leper, he raised the dead, right? He cast out demons. And he taught his disciple, hey, go and do the same, right? And those who believe in you, they can do the same too. If we're not doing it, why we're not doing it? Sometimes one believes in the life. Amen. And this is not only for the apostles, they're for every believer. You believe, you can go, preach the gospel for the kid and do the same. Amen? Verse 19. So, so then after the Lord has spoken to them, they were received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out. They went out and preached. You see? They hear. Yeah. They obey everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word through their company signs. Amen. The, the, the Lord confirmed the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom with signs and wonders. Because we have to preach the gospel of the kingdom. Yes. No other nonsense. Come on. Amen. Amen. The Jesus, he finished the word, right? He preached the gospel. He went about. Then he was crucified, he raised again, right? And he came to his disciples to tell him, hey, I did my job. You see? I'm commanding you, I'm sending you, I'm commissioning you to do what I did when I walked here in this area. We're not going to the cross to save some, someone, but we are called to preach the gospel of the kingdom. You see, the disciple, they say, yeah, the disciple went. They did it. Yes. 
They, every person who was believing in them, they will say, and they want to do the same. They want now, they have the authority to do the same. If we are safe, if we are children of the kingdom, we have the authority to do the same. Preach the gospel of the kingdom and heal people and cast out demons. But the, that's what the kingdom had to be preached. Jesus did it. Jesus came and went about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen.